you to a time, September 95, when Andy met Lisa and the stars aligned. Their special kind of moments, he knew she was the one. She just turned 18, he just turned 21. She went like the other girls with pure self-obsession. She had goals set on grades, he could see the progression. She weren't like no single, any one of his exes. And when he's out with the boys, she didn't bombard him with Texas. It'll never last, that's what all the family said. So to prove them all wrong, they went full steam ahead. A ring devoted to the time they share. A promise to one another to forever be there. Now we're pushing six months, wedding plans on the way. Lisa seems kind of stressed, it's getting worse by the day. Agitated and sharp, like she's holding back pain. While Andy only looks at himself to blame. The communication's weak, they ain't spoke in days. And Lisa's been moving in mysterious ways. Is it the stress of the day building up inside? Or regretting the acceptance of ever be his bride? Either way, it didn't seem how it felt before. She was always so honest, but now he's really unsure. Something just ain't quite right, but I just can't put my finger on it. And I've got to approach this, I can't let it lie. I just can't let it lie. He puts his hands to his head, prepares his mind, sets aside the emotions that he's struggling to find, makes his way to the door, Lisa's on the other side. Here's where the story will divide and collide. He enters the room with little hesitation. Lisa's pacing up and down, full of frustration. Now she's up in his face, I'm talking nose to nose. He takes a step back, but she's quick on her toes. Now she's digging her nails deep into Andy's face. This love that once was is an utter disgrace. Do not put your hands on me again. This ain't love. What makes you think you can do that to me? This ain't love. Tell me. And after all the madness has come to an end, she wants to put it in the past, but he can't pretend. He wasn't looking for a fight, no intention to offend. But that sudden outburst, there's no comprehend. He makes his way to the mirror to fix up his face. Blood's running to his mouth, it's a bitterly taste. Takes a look at his reflection, but who's looking back? A victim that's in love with a violent maniac. You're supposed to love me. People that love each other don't do things like that. You need to explain yourself, please explain, come on. This whole time Lisa's speaking softly and calm. Like this happens all the time, there's no need for alarm. And he can't take the act, she has to explain. He pulls up a chair and confronts her again. And there's a glare in her eye that he once thought was pain. Instead of fake happiness she had to sustain. He questions her ways, we've cautioned this time. And asks her point blank, do you think that was fine? Look at me. I want you to look directly in my eyes. You've really crossed the line, Lisa. It weren't supposed to be like this. You know it and I know it. It was not supposed to be like this. She's still giving them looks, anger rising inside. He wants her to explain her mind's preoccupied. But what came next left Andy speechless. He can't take these thoughts, it's a feeling of deepness. And Lisa plays it cool like she was never to blame. Or know where she's done wrong, won't hang her head in shame. And this is where it gets raw and flips on its side. She tells Andy sometimes she wishes he dies. She's been thinking so much and the hate becomes real. The thought of him around, she just don't know how to feel. But how can he ignore what she chose to disclose? He Walks to the drawers and starts packing his clothes. Lisa's blocked him by now and she's back up on her toes. Wipes the tears from her lips that have run down her nose. As she pierces a knife directly in his heart. 